I saw them. Oh. So I'm like, I don't want to walk up and it's like seven bucks. And yeah. I'm like, oh, no. Yeah. No. There was like a purple one with like purple cats on it. There was a bat one and a pumpkin one. I think. Because I have a or black like a one with one. purple bats on it. Yeah. And then I have this one. That's why I was like, I don't know if it's like the same company, but it's just sold at different places or what. It might be. I mean, it's like a, it's like a kind of a do-it-yourself type of store like Michael's is. Yeah. So it might be. Yeah. Is this our quiz answers? Yeah, I, I know the answers to this one. Could, could, could you help me by coming to the board and uh, writing it? Uh, right now? In, in a second, I want to put it on recording and make it better. Record it for the success. Okay. We're going to be finishing our lab today. What? No, I don't want to write a lab report yet. I thought this no, was going to take like three weeks. No, it's supposed to take a long time. Zoe, is it going to take a long time or are we going to be late? You guys have six titrations you have to do, so I hope you guys get done quick. Listen, it's, it's not nine. We won't. It's not nine, though. No, but nine, we were like an hour late. Yeah. Not with sex, right? Yeah. Um, I mean, we also don't have to be guy shit. We don't have to use like the iodine solution. I'm pretty sure it's just. Uh, oh, because we threw that away. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying is that I'm pretty sure we only have to use maybe this. I don't even think we use the sodium thiosol based solution. I think it's just the hydrochloric acid and then whatever we mix today for a titrant. What the oh, hell did I just what? And yeah, the sheet of a bigger thing. Yeah, um, I mean, actually, it won't be. It was. I could just. I was. Um, sharing my plans with my colleagues, uh, and I, I just I'm not making secrets. I, I told like this year class is is really strong and pleasant, but as any humans, there is a like natural wish to. Simplify, minimize, minimize, and avoid uh, any like barriers and, and hard things. Exactly. And, and call it, oh, sure, no one wants to derive equations, but I want to help them overcome this barrier and call it else. Uh huh. Fight their laziness. No, no, no. Just help. And then, and then the, the uh, but without any uh, threats, persecution, and lowering grades. And the call told. It's not possible, but it is possible. <laughs> so um, we'll start in a second. Okay, I said Frederick. Oh, Roderick. So let's try to focus on focus. Let's try to focus. We need to focus it on, on, on the board. It's fire. Yeah, yeah. It's fire. I'm hoping that our test score. Okay, I forgot that we had there are uh, about 30 uh, empty boxes or whatever. Let's go and try to fill them as much as possible. Okay, give me a sec. Okay, respectfully. Oh, sure. Respectfully. Well, I don't want it to boss you around. What in the Jesus Christ? I know that one. Good job. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Well, the M plus one for. <laughs> is, it, is it necessary to write the one in that box? Like, can that one change? Oh, by the way, is it plus or minus? Minus. For, for A plus, for A plus, it is minus. Double check. Okay. I'll double check. Uh, 
The next one is oh, maybe the easiest it. one. It's plus. Plus, okay. And then okay. if you if you change the if you put plus if you put plus here, then it will be minus zero because it is uh, conjugated. Okay. Whose birthday? My friend's dogs. Oh. He has a birthday hat. Do you want to see? Is there? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Is is there like a uh, dog's cake? Probably, yeah. Like dog friendly. Yeah. You know, Dimitri, I can remember I went through it as an our last class, but I really can't place this. Just, just, just I mean, really hard. And I'll be trying to like, okay, this is what we did last week. I saw I'm racking my brain here. Just tell, me, tell, tell, tell anything you think about it. Oh, I know that one. But can tell I, what it, what, tell I can what it is. I can do the second one, Dimitri. Huh? I can do the second one. The one that Patricia's working on? Oh, or, yeah. or, the, or the third one? Uh, well, the one Patricia's working on. Okay, okay that's good. I, I... But uh, you can turn, uh, Patricia, you can turn to the camera and tell the story. Like, <laughs> on the board, we do have. Oh, no, not to the board. Not to the board. Turn to the camera. You are smile to the camera. Trying to figure it out, okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, tell what, what it is, uh, and uh, you know, memorization is a worst thing to do, just try to think, analyze. This is the um wave function for the ground state, uh huh. Of which system, uh, our system, uh, which model, like our, our class is thousand methods and three models. Which model are we looking at right now? Oh, uh, okay. Uh, pendulum. Oh, sorry. Yeah, okay. Oscillator. Oscillator, yes. Oscillator. Okay. This is the ground state wave function of the oscillator. Um, Even without writing anything, what you can tell about, about it? What's the functional form of, the, of this equation? What's the what? Functional form. Which mathematical function? E to the power minus R squared. What is R and how does uh, this function depends on R? If you compare with functions with camels, how many humps does the camel have? Two. Where do you see two? One. Yes. Camels have two. Have two. Yes, but this way function have a lot. Oh, yeah. this is a one hump camel? Yes. How do, you, how do you know? Um, inappropriate unit, but it, it's more complicated. It, it should be a uh, fraction, and when one when should plug there, uh, mass, omega, Planck, uh, constant, and, and factor two, I think, in, in certain relation. I know he's already in Mass, frequency, Planck constant, and yeah. factor two. So uh, let's look in our cheat sheet. Cheat sheet? Or what's it be? I'll just add it. I like this. Cheat sheet? I like this one. I'm interested. Sure. But why is there a fraction? Um, how do we solve? Uh, how do we solve? Like, it. Uh, we need help from the class. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> if we do not have cheat sheets, if uh, I'm I weak, find my cheat sheet. if I'm weak in memory, which is okay. Yeah. Uh, how do I know which pattern to put here? What just what is the style of thinking? Uh, the power of exponential. It is a mathematical function, right? Yes. So, which dimensions power of exponential has? Is it dimensional full or dimensional less? Like, can we have e to the power of meters or e to the power of time? Or we need, we need to like only like radians or just simple numbers? So, simple numbers. yeah, so all dimensions should cancel, right? So combination of these factors should be equivalent to one over length squared. 
right? And then if I'm completely forgotten what it is, I can track back and try to reconstruct it. So dimension of the Planck constant is uh, energy times time. Uh, mass is mass, right? Kilograms and frequency is one one over seconds or one over time. Okay. So question. Yes. Is it two H over two H bar over M W? Two H bar over M W. Probably inverse. I think it's M W over. And to this exercise is too hard to me to do uh, in front of, of people in a short time, but the H bar is mostly loaded constant. It has like energy time and energy like uh, kinetic and potential it has like momentum squared or distance squared. So energy can be treated as A R squared or M omega R squared over two. And then if you need to cancel R squared, it would be very reasonable to put H bar in. We can wait to check check this, and then if it is has m omega and we do not need m omega, we can probably put it there. Yeah. And just to have it nicely, if if someone gives such a hint that it, there should be two of them. Okay. Okay. Let's. So the idea of, of this factor is to have power for exponential dimensionless. If we remember nothing, which is okay. I, uh, it's enough that you can remember playing away from the middle of the night. <laughs> now, what is here? And what, what is this whole thing? How would you describe it? Is it the normalization? You'll repeat after Eva. Normalization? Yes, explain. Please explain it. What, <laughs> it, what normalization is like. Okay. So, so someone come, yeah. I wish to you and then comes. I'm not sure. Someone is coming, uh, I think it's one quarter. Someone yeah. is coming to you and, and uh, ask, how are you? I'm normal. I'm done with my normalization. <laughs> so what is normalization? Without equations. Let, let, let me tease you. Let me tease you. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Um. <laughs> it's the brain going. <laughs> so where normalization is coming from? When we discuss normalization, that was when we discuss translational motions. I think that was the first thing I read about normalization. Mm -hmm. um, we discussed particle in the box. Which I can remember. You can, you can. So, uh, what is the meaning of the wave function uh, absolute value squared? What is this? I think I was going to say. Um... But what is it? Uh, um, the goal, I know that you are on the higher spheres, you are ready to do it. Here we are, we are in a simple class. The goal of physical <laughs> chemistry, well, not the main tool. The main, I would say, practical thing that people do in the class, mm -hmm. converting equations into words and words into equations as a minimum. Yes. <laughs> so, uh, and eventually also connecting words and equations to observations in natural processes. Mm -hmm. So, which words would you use for the? Mm. Are we happy with this, or we need something different, different words? No, it's, it's a good attempt to convert the question into words, but uh, maybe the words should be a little different. I'm trying to think really hard to oh, Come on, you, you all know it. I know. I'm just giving you. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Oh, wow. Yes. Okay. Nice. So everyone agrees? Yes. Just try not to agree. 
Okay, from this distribution, you just okay. Now, if you do an <coughs> integral of this probability distribution from minus infinity, what's that equal? It's one. Yeah. <laughs> Got a little excited. It is one. <laughs> okay, so. Um, what is the if you take e to the power minus m omega two h bar r squared in a square dr? Will we get one or not? But here is your wave function, right? Mm -hmm. If you if you put just factor one here, and then we want so the meaning of this. What is the meaning of this equation? Once again, melody correct told it correctly, but can please convert her idea into your words. Probability integral of probability distribution equation one. Yeah, this is absolutely correct, but it is more like verbalization of mathematical equation. What's the meaning? So, which means we do have one particle, right? And probability to find it anywhere in the universe is one. Right? It can be less because we, we do not I remove or bring this particle. It is on, a, on our table. So now we need to make sure that integral of your function gives one. And there is a high chance that this integral will be not one. So in order to secure that we have probability equals to one, we need to put a normalization constant. Okay? And this is a question, what will be the value of this normalization constant? So how to make sure that the probability uh, over the whole space will be one? Okay, which uh, it probably should be also combinations of m omega h bar and factor two. And I do I have no idea how to how to prove it. Probably the normalization factor should be also it shouldn't be dimensional. Because um, normalization square multiplied by length should give dimensional less. Dimitri, I have a question. Yes, please. Uh, the wave function equation. That's uh -huh. So, what you're saying is that if each this should have been equal to one. No, no, no. Integral of this function integral of, of the function squared should be equal to one. Okay. Okay, please help us. Uh, whoever has the cheat sheet. I have cheat sheet. I, I have uh, because I already have oh, wants to, to, to give A in the class and to leave it after after this yeah. Come on and write. Thank you, Patricia. I think it is really, really useful discussion. Thank you. So I probably for the next uh, question I will do the next. Just prefer oh boy mobilize your chit 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 mobilizing <laughs> mobilization in progress this doesn't <laughs> like bless you that's you right correct oh. correct uh, no, no 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 oh, 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 oh. yes i'm a weak in memory <laughs> just flip them around even with no the answer. No, I'm next. I'm busy. I've been distracted all this time. Yeah, I've too been busy. Burning sensation busy. in my uh... Okay. Bruh, this is even then... if it is wrong, I'm fine with it. Thank you. Correct. That. Okay. <coughs> so no, no one except Patricia watched uh, Game of Thrones, right? I, I don't know. Know. I've never seen you. Well, yeah, okay, be then, then I, 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 will, I will make a joke on for Patricia. Where the last time? I will make a joke on Patricia. Oh. You understand? <laughs> Maybe it's not a good joke. <laughs> I don't like Dimitri. I feel like this doesn't. Let's try. Mm -hmm. Remember my conversation with a colleague. I'm just trying to fulfill my mission. So <laughs> overcome, overcome your attempt to avoid deriving equations without threatening it all over in grades. <laughs> yeah. Is this just the same? 
I hope so. It would be really great to have the same. Okay. So the second equation is for oscillations. It's all for oscillation. Oh, it's all for oscillation. Oh, and okay. uh, I I see when you guys do watch or do not watch recordings, and I notice that no one watched recording of the meeting when uh, there were only Patricia, Fred, and Eva. But there is no time to repeat. We had a discussion about um, Raman. Oh, I'll, so, watch. Huh? I'll watch. I'll watch. Sorry. Watch it. So most most uh, challenging thing is what, what is she <laughs> so what would you put here? And you if you were not fully sleeping and, and drunk uh, last Monday, then <laughs> we, we should be able to put this is the easy <laughs> which you track. <laughs> oh. That's the hard like two days ago. It, it, the easiest, yes. Easy. It's the easy. Okay, then. R. Yes. Plus one. Yes. Uh, okay. And um, can we just copy paste things oh. here? It's the exact same. I hope that it is the same very much. <laughs> okay. Now, uh, as a little extra thing, can if if the by not function was looking like, like a single hump camel, can you draw this function? How would it? By one? Mm -hmm. That's one Some sort of double hump camel? I, uh, be creative. You can do by memory or just by multiplying two functions. Just how product of R and E minus R squared should look like. Brian tracks all my progress. I think it would just be, you, you can do it. I have no doubt. Yeah, I have no doubt. You do. Yeah, I believe. I have doubt. If you put what I, I think, what Elsa has doubt in skills of Evan? No, no, no. <laughs> in skills of me. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> and oh. Maybe, maybe let's put the origin in the center, then it will be a little easier. Oh, so can you so do there's it? ones on both sides? Okay, okay, just do that's keep it. Okay, keep going. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, and now, how, uh, I know you are skilled in math. Um, what is the expression to everyone? E to the power minus r squared. Does it like boom dumps into axis or it does no, something? No, it, it goes like this, right? Yeah. What's the right mathematical word? It goes like what? Like an exponential graph. Huh? No, asymptote. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Oh yeah. So Ava. Yes. Yes. Just slowly approaching zero, and on the other side as well. And then it goes back up, like the right hand side of a quadratic. What? Just gonna don't twist it. Continue oh, okay. with you. Sorry. Uh, Elsa, you, you are doing, telling correct things, just not to disturb. Right. Yeah. Yeah. If you're not um, disturbed, please. If, if you take square of this function, maybe in different color. Mm -hmm. And on, on the other side. Okay, yeah, keep right. going, and then I will criticize you a little bit. Okay. So, um, do you watch what we have on this? It's all hard. Uh, do you see the task and the way how, how it was fulfilled? So we had a blue function that passed to zero, and then I asked Emma to put square of the function. And, and, and she did uh, absolute value of, of the function because yeah, it goes higher, it may go higher, but especially I'm interested how does it do in the vicinity of zero? So oh, if it would be for the grade, you get a full full grade, but if you want to be really picky, yeah. there is a if you draw this area a little bit more in detail. So there is a blue function that goes almost like X. Mm -hmm. And then the question is draw x squared. And you did from x go to x squared, and you did boom, boom, 
which will be modules, absolute value of x. And if you do one to the square, what would you do? Just draw x square. It's, it, it, it's not a setup. Oh, it's not so pointy here. What's, right, not so pointy here, more continuous. Just parabolic. Per, Yes, <laughs> yeah, it's much better, and it, it, it may go below here. So the square of the small numbers is smaller than the number like 0 0.1 squared is 0 0.01. Yeah, triple. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's uh, about the error. Ooh, who will go to the last one? <laughs> the next victim. Not big two, no, no. next uh, hero. No. So is that I, x squared? Right, it, it is an x squared. I don't have a right to ask anyone to, to do this task because we didn't cover it in class yet. I know that if you. I'll just give him a shot. <laughs> but. Team tag team it. We, we, we can try it. But to fill these boxes is a task for our today's meeting. I know I'm very terribly behind, but if you would have three hours for this meeting, we would direct everything carefully, but we need to speed up. So um, then let me speak a little bit, then maybe if you want, we can try invite a hero or heroine. <laughs> um, but let me tell a little bit. The camel, that corresponds to the function should have three humps. Right? We need to, uh, if we do absolute value square, by uh, two absolute value square, will be three humps. If we do uh, by just by two, it should be like up and down, up and down. The uh, factor in, in the power of exponential is should be the same as at here. The normalization should be the same as here with uh, I think either one over square root or one over square root of two. And if I would know it for sure, I would I would not uh, ask you to go to the blackboard. It's basically what we need to find find out today. If you have collapse of the of the system, then we are in, in a little trouble. <laughs> and uh, the main thing um, here we can think of exponential if power is multiplied by x in, in the power zero, which is one. Here it is multiplied not r. Here it is multiplied by r in the power one, which is r. And here it is not x. It will be r. And generally, R1, R0, it should be polynomial of the second order with unknown coefficients. So as soon as we're ramping up to the higher and higher order, we still have the same decrease in exponential, but in front of it, there is a polynomial of higher and higher order. And um, there is a task that you normal, simple human cannot remember. What are the powers, especially if you if you go to n equals like five, ten? But there, there, there are protocols how to get these powers. Our tool here in the class just to apply creation of operator to junior function to get senior function. Right? And the operator is here, thanks to Melody. So we, we the task of this class. Which I have no idea how we can fit in 15 minutes. We just have to apply this A dagger to phi one, and as a result, we receive phi two. And we, we will get ramping up of the power from first to the second. And there will be coefficients that, as a simple human, I cannot memorize. To my attempts to memorize, and maybe you have you do have it in the distributed nodes. It looks like there will be zero power in here. It looks like it will be either one or two here, and it looks like it will be like minus one or two, minus something in there. Like minus, uh, one minus uh, r squared, or maybe minus two r squared. But the main goal of, uh, of the meeting 
is to figure out what is pure, what is zero, and what is a factor of running. Uh, why do we waste time on this boring mathematical exercise? Good question. Okay, so let's uh, check if each system is working. Then. Probably. Oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> I think it's fused the, the angle. Uh, system works. Okay. I have a question. Please, you please. If you, if you had all that together, it's not going to give you minus two R squared. What? There's I'm not criticizing. I'm, I'm yeah, just trying. Like, I know, but this wouldn't you just give you this? So why do you put all the like because this is going to give you zero one and it's going to give you minus zero. So why do you need all this? Okay, why why do I write all powers if we if I remember that uh, factor in front of r to the power one will be zero, right? Yeah. Because I want to be general, not in a military sense. <laughs> <laughs> I want to, to give a general consideration. Well, if you go to the third, fourth power, it will be a polynomial that includes hypothetically all terms and which terms are dominant and which are like diminished is our task as a researcher. Okay. 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 Make sense? Yeah. Probably we had enough of the boards that focus camera around the Kings of educational on the kings <laughs> educational students. Really king. Provide this on the focus. Mm -hmm. miss? There we go. <laughs> okay. Yeah, also blocking. So <laughs> what is the what is the meaning? What is the necessity to go over this boring long equations? How, how do you think I would justify this effort? By talking through it, it increases and improves our critical thinking skills. It's too general and uh, it, it, uh, I translate because the instructor wants to torture it. Not <laughs> not Increased critical thinking is just exercise for, for the exercise. But it's a very wrong attitude to the physical chemistry and maybe to other subjects as well. So we, all these exercises are just tools to discover secrets of nature on one hand, to satisfy our curiosity. On the other side, it is a way to improve our life by designing new technologies, potentially through. Um, so how these equations can design new technologies will satisfy our curiosity because I would admit I'm not curious about what are these things. It's, it's, it's boring. So what is the justification? Why do we need to go over this barrier? Why do we need eigenstates of quantized uh, nuclear motion or quantized harmonic oscillator? Uh, um, Fred, Patricia, and Eva could answer if they would like to. Um, rhetoric is not. Rhetoric is not. Based on, I, I think, based on Monday, you said that, no, Friday, you said there were some uh, problems that cannot be solved using simple um, concepts. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So you and we would have to make use of this equations to solve them. So which equations need to quantize oscillator emotion? And even if you were not here on Friday, please try to think and answer. This will be part of your homework, uh, given five examples of harmonic oscillators. Yeah. The first one are uh, just um, FTR are the, the normal modes of, of, of molecular systems, right? Oscillations. 
then liberations in power solar, then LC circuit, right? Yeah. That ate up all our time last time. Yeah. When uh, I was trying to calm myself when you talked about like chemical element, no, <laughs> element of circuit. That was a good one. So, two, two more examples. Well, I, I'm not going to do your homework for, for you, but you, you figure out something. But um, if molecules are oscillating and we are doing FTIR, it is not necessary to know their quantized uh, structure. Right, Sam? <laughs> but can we predict an outcome of the Raman spectroscopy without quantizing? Uh, it is a setup because we didn't cover in this uh, class what is yeah. spectroscopy. But I want to learn it from you guys because you have more chemical background. You are you have an entrance keys to uh, experimental labs. I don't. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so teach me what is uh, Raman spectroscopy. Raman spectroscopy is the give me a second. I gotta use my own resources. Yeah, sure, sure. Is a non-destructive chemical analysis technique which provides detailed information about chemical structures, phase and polymorphy, crystal crystallinity, and molecular interactions. It's based upon the interactions of light with the chemical bonds within the material. Determine <laughs> vibrational modes. Okay, so um. I like what you do have a figures when with many levels and colored arrows connecting them. Do you see it? No, no, no. It's this one. This one. This one. This one. Uh, do you see? Yes. So please try to discuss yes yeah, this figure and show it to everyone that uh, if if the rest of us are looking into uh, Wikipedia, just find find this figure. Everyone look. Thank you. Find this figure, okay? I did. Good job. Did you find it? Oh, okay. It doesn't look right though. What? Not now. After I saved it, like to my photos. <laughs> so, what are the lines and arrows in this figure? Like um, going to different states. Yes. And what are these energy states? Uh, vibrational and virtual. <laughs> Whatever it virtual. gets excited up to virtual or something that's yes, higher than but before we knew we discussed only quantum states of an electron. Yes. Right? Can we say about this figure that it is quantum states of an electron? Uh yeah. Or, or maybe no. I think so. Vibrational energy states are vibrational, not electronic. Okay. So I, we will return to it. Maybe we, we need to return to this discussion again and again. But what does it mean, vibrational states? So I was going to say, I feel like that. I mean, if your vibrational energy states going to be the vibration of your like bond, which yes. is going to be the bonding of two molecules with the electrons. Uh, good and bad words were so much entangled that I cannot separate them. You want me to just. Piece by piece, lab. Uh, let me try because it is just a side comment, and we need in remaining five minutes go over seven slides as usual. <laughs> mm. You're correct. If you look on a diatomic, the nature of chemical bonds is this like bonding and debonding orbitals of the electronic state. Yes. But if we expand the bond or contract the bond, it behaves like a mass on a spring, it oscillates, right? And if you think it on the language of uh, high school physics or middle school physics, whoever get it a different time, it's just oscillations and one can know position and momentum of your ball on a spring at each point of time without any quantum uncertainty. But if the ball is very small and spring is very rigid, motion of this ball which is like ions will be quantized and you will not be able to find position and momentum at the same time. It will be quantum particle, quantum ion 
quantum nucleus instead of classical nucleus. So it, no position and momentum cannot be known at the same time. And instead of tracking position and momentum, we will say that those fake quantum states, right? Quantum states of vibration. If molecule is not vibrating at all, then it will be in the ground state by sub naught. If you're excited, it will come to quantum state by one or by two. And the one of the best evidences of this on experiment is Raman spectrum. So if you do not do Raman spectrum, you can have, ah, I'll come in a month when you finish the subject. Something like that, right? But if you foresee that your lab has a Raman spectroscopy, you have to stay here. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Can I give a little justification? Okay. Now back to the slides, right? So I do want to derive as much as possible. So let's let's go through through the slides in the remaining five minutes. And I hope you don't blame me for for not focusing on slides for a long time because. Our one to one discussion. Uh, we, we skip important slides, but it's more interactive. And at least I have a guarantee that something will be more memorized on, on your side. Okay, if you want to see what we have been, we have, we have done in about two thirds, and we have a third of a class remaining, but this third in time, we would be like 70% of the material. Just prefer. We get harder and harder each day. Okay, so here are your choices. And looking on this, it, it looks like Patricia has the most and hardest. Sorry, you start, it's your, your own choice. Start preparing now. Oh, <laughs> okay. Um, oh, I, I can screw up the dates right now, but um, I don't remember. You, Agreed to present on Friday or Monday, but next day after next class after presenting, there will be another homework where all of you need to answer this question. After presenting, after presenting, okay. after presenting this so later. the meaning of this homework. And again, I want us to be in good relations to friends, but by the nature of this academic things, we need to go over some tasks and try to give each other benefits of the doubt, but try our best. Um, this homework will assess how good you are listening to each other. So basically, based on this homework, I will I can grade whether the presenter on a certain subject was presenting well or bad. Okay, and um, when we will do projects and we will do presentations in front of anyone from the department who wants to visit, uh, the questions will be on the methodology rather than your accomplishment, which I have no doubts you will do. Uh, and the questions on uh, right by doing this homework, which is I cannot say exactly, but whatever two weeks from now, something like that, is a foundation for your uh, presentations on the of the projects and your written report on the projects. Because the report will need to have questions and explanations of them, how results were obtained, and by listening to yourself during presentations and making these notes on this quite a long set of questions, uh, you will contribute to your to what we all agree democratically will be our final exam. Okay, so it's, it's investment into the future. This is an easy homework, I think, due in a week, next Wednesday. I think each of you can, could do it in like 20 minutes and some minutes right now, but just plan, not plan to invest much time, it will be easy. Okay. It's more math than rather than physical chemistry. Here is our map. Richard, I have a question. I don't like that size. What? Sorry, we're taking your time. You have two minutes for 70 seconds. Oh, uh, 60 slides. Okay. Yes. Okay. This is exactly what we have here. Yes. And it is not two, it is uh, two times alpha. And alpha is m omega divided by two h bar times like this. Okay. Maybe so this value is this value. Yeah, exactly yes thank you thank you patricia thank you for making bridges between homework and uh, what we do in class so in some sense 
in the remaining two minutes, we will do the extra credit for your future homework. Okay, well, where is the minus one coming from? Is it supposed to be plus? What? The minus minus one? is zero. Okay. Have minus one. And I, I told you that I do not promise exactly. Okay. So um, normalization for pi not is what you already answered. Okay. So here, sure. uh, if we would have yeah, plenty of time, like at least an additional hour, the next derivation should bring us to the following slide. So at least I will declare the answer. And I don't know how to deal with the rest. So the stuff here uh, is, I'm not tall enough. <laughs> So uh, the stuff here does show that it is one over square root. The, this factor is the same here is two alpha minus one. And uh, alpha is a factor, I just combine it in, uh, because I'm lazy to write M omega divided by H bar. So it is obtained by applying the equation operator, thanks to melody, to uh, first state thanks to Eva, right? And by applying this operator, which includes moment P momentum, which means derivative, we are taking uh, derivative of E to the minus R squared, and it brings factor R. So we are ramping up the power of the polynomial. So if you carefully do normalization, we will find out this little factor. So if you just apply the equation and operator, we get everything as it should be without this factor. And to get this factor, we need to do quite tedious uh, um, uh, exercise on getting normalization. And after we do it, we will find that second state is a creation and operator acting on the first state with a factor one over square root of two. And if one propagate it to a state number n, then uh, we're here. So if one applies creation operator to state number m, if you be state number here's my error n plus one, acting on junior, you get senior. Okay, times factor uh, square root of n plus one, and this gives uh, this is a very useful property. Uh, a lot of our future considerations will be based on this. So uh, I think there is no time Wait, for. Sorry. Yes. I do not understand the M. The M is what? Is it either? So I uh, screen is not working. Let me rewrite with a correction. A dagger times phi sub M will be phi sub N plus one. Okay. There is an error here. But in addition, one gets a factor N plus one that contributes to normalization. And this gives a lot of pleasant mathematical properties. So we don't have time to go to derivations, but they do nothing except to justify this, uh, this conclusion. I think for the sake of the whole year of the class, uh, whoever is curious can just watch the slides or, or watch recordings from previous years. Uh, you need to go to the next class and rush on your schedule, right? It's, it's just not you got the main idea. Okay. okay. So meeting is done. Looking forward to see you tonight in lab. Yes, correct. <laughs> oh. Hang out. Yeah. Sorry for not entertaining you with another 50 pages of derivation. That's all right. Oh darn. We, we meet them so much in yeah. here. Yeah, hate to see it. I'm not being able to just do it. Like yeah. Frederick comes to last. Uh, to a message in the group chat. Oh, dang. Yeah. The heck, Fred? Yeah. The man. Yeah. It's 8 a.m. It's just. Yeah. Yeah, Fred, it's almost noon. That's a little late. I'll talk to him. Yeah. Yeah. He's slept in. He'll hopefully be in lab. Serious problem. Oh, no, he will be the most energetic one of all of us. Yeah, yeah, he'll have a lot to say. Well, he'll have a lot to make up for.
Every time he walks into the office, he goes, "What's up, nerd?" He's a bunch of nerds. Yes, he doesn't work in your office. Yeah, and sits at my desk sometimes. Uh, I mean, he does, but. I don't know.